Good morning, guys. It's a cloudy day today in here, and for the first time in a couple of weeks, it's a little bit warmer. And look at my greenhouse now inside. It survived, guys. We have another um, backup heater right here because the other one that um, attached directly to the propane gas. Oh my god, it's only like lasted two days. And this one here, if we do it right, low seating, it should last five days. And it's connected to the propane tank still, like that. And this fan right here is necessary so that it can get distributed the, the heat all over. This little guys, you know, can do. Yeah, it's um, no one we're gonna try this. It's supposed to last uh, five days in a low seating. Especially in the, we need this one especially in January and February where it's bad in here for the snow, cold and all that stuff. But it's nicer today. So we turned it off. My husband keeps watching the temperature. This is the one that records the temperature and it'll deliver it to the other device in our living room. So he can always tell. But anyway, I'm going to water today. I am going to water. I'm going to use this one because like I said, um, it's been cold here. And then uh, we put away the hose, the water hose already. So now I use this. And uh, I'm going to start watering without wetting the electronic stuff in here. Just very easy, guys. Just like this, you know. But the nice part, I can water the including the leaves because I can just turn on the fan it's nice yeah, just just like that it was Thanksgiving day here yesterday and then um everybody is like so busy and all that stuff for the last minute shopping and today is the Black Friday oh my god but I'm, I'm not one of those uh, people that wait in the store and risk the stampede. <laughs> no way. Everything's online now. Uh, this one, guys. See. I have some flowers in here. Look at I'll show you the flowers. I'll water later. This is my sherry baby. It's confirmed that... It's flowering and it was it got cut off from moving in and out from outside from the outside and that spike right here from this baby from the Bilara Howard's dream orchid I divided it that's the nice spike and this one right here is the mother plant of the Howard's dream it's also had a spike and um, I still have the bloom from, uh, oh my god, this is like lasting a month. This cutlia right here, it's very dry. I didn't water last week here because it was so cold. Yeah, I still have that. Still beautiful. And behind that is also, um, I mean to repot that one because uh, it, got, uh, it fell over from the outside and then I need to at least stop the bark medium but yeah that's that's the bud and I still have zygopetalum bloom isn't she gorgeous let me see there's a fan in my way so so gorgeous guys and that one the sheet still managed to grow didn't face the move and oh I forgot to check this um symbidium it has if it has um spikes because the other sister this I mean the other symbidiums let me see this one right here guys see that it surprised me I don't know about the other side but that one is a big big spike right here like I said, I can't turn them around yet because, like, I just put that in there to fit the other ones, the other side of the big leaves. 
two leaves cymbidium and that one right here behind the um, tag that's um, bloom spike this one has four bloom spike the fourth one is hard to see and the third the fourth and the third hard to see Let's see this is the second spike let me see that one the third one I managed, I managed to see that one even though I can't turn this part around and then the fourth one is in between here in between the leaves there's the fourth one there that one and I don't know if there are more on the other side I'll be just surprised when it come up this one I cannot turn around yet and this one here I can see just one for now there it's right there let me see that's my symbidium babies <laughs> this one really desperately need need um repot guys what did i see here oh that's a dead something see look at the pot guys it deform and i hate repotting symbidiums because you have to like shock them like because you really have to be rough on them to be able to split it and i really really don't like that uh, maybe my husband can no problem for him but me hard for me to do it guys it feels like it's hurting it but it's not really it's helping them to you know a smaller clump make new ones you know but that's my symbidiums and below that another um division of um ancidium i don't know the name of this one because uh i believe i have a tag in there but oh it's not the tag is stolen again that spike right here and this one the, another division of the bilara the bilaras are doing great i just divided it uh last year Look at that. Bilara Howard Dream. Doing great. One spike each, but not too shabby. Knowing what happened to them last year's um frost, you know. And this is my lemon right here. The baby's continuing. That one the big ones. Got some big lemons right here. They're they're doing okay better because you know they will live here forever my husband would never touch this one <laughs> he doesn't like the spikes the, the thorns thorns in there that over there the brown one that's pomegranate uh i won't uh i won't get um sad that old leaves came off because it's just gonna make um new leaves when everything drops off from there it constant it's very sensitive it, it constantly changing leaves when you move it around you know so yeah this is my babies here for now hopefully hopefully we can um keep up this heating and coming out in the winter in here just um to turn and turn on and off the heater and me watering i plan to just um put like a I have a barrel for rain water outside and it's gonna be cold to uh, water them directly but I will transfer the rain water in here and then I'll just leave this in the greenhouse to warm up then I will use the rain water again to water them yeah easy peasy guys easy peasy lemon squeezy <laughs> just being silly but this is my plan hopefully it will work so that I don't have to do a lot, a lot um, during winter because yeah, winter, cold months like that, it's tend to make me so very lazy, very lazy. I just like to have a um, relaxing, win cold winter inside and all this hot chocolate, watching favorite shows, like that and then. Sometimes, you know, when you have days that you don't want to go out. Hmm. Like that. 
I take care of these babies. My husband take care of the heating, the turning, and turn on and off of the heater. Yeah, he's he's watching it like a hawk, you know. Yeah. So this is how I water my baby, my orchids during winter, guys. Yeah. This is our first time using this greenhouse like hard um hard shell or yeah something like hard shell greenhouse like this so we'll see what happened we'll see yeah all right i will not make out long videos now guys so that's what i'm doing here in my greenhouse and hopefully it will work yeah this is the greenhouse oh by the way my husband put a stick in here now <laughs> this is for the window that attached that one there are four windows in this greenhouse so he attaches this uh stake so that i can easy just like hold like that rich see see you guys you can do that <laughs> i do not need a ladder so it's safer for me yeah my it's my safety first before anything else oh, oh i forgot to show you guys i have these uh cattleya sheath right there yeah my att volcano queen yeah okay a trick something att volcano trick volcano queen yeah had a sheath yes 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 and all these babies in here my jalapeno peppers right there in the corner all that okay guys thank you for watching bye now